Welcome back to Reverend Big John's Backyard Fishing. Today we had another, another little local lake in York, York PA. Uh, it's Sunday morning. I got church in the park. This is where we have our services outside. So it's about 8 o'clock. I figured I'd fish for about two hours before I go and preach. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Fishing for fish and fishing for men all in the same day. So let's see if I can catch something. I'm gonna go top water. I know I'm a little bit late, but let's just try some top water. Bring this jig back a little bit later. I hope your week has been going well. Always remember to keep the Lord first and keep the lines tight. You know how we roll. Just setting up right now. It's a nice day too. It's like uh, it's about 60 degrees. It's July 30th, uh, and you know you can't ask for a better day in the uh, summertime when it's not supposed to be. This is like early fall stuff. So I'm going to enjoy this. See if the bass are gonna enjoy it too. I don't know how much junk is in this here lake, but or pond, but whatever. We'll find out as we do a little top water. Hope y'all can see well. I didn't really adjust my camera, I just kind of threw it on, but I kind of feel for where it was supposed to be. It's a lot of grass in here, I see. Get that early morning strike before worship service. It's always a good time to get out and enjoy the outdoors. I don't know of a bad time. Ooh, I don't want to break you. Put them on that edge to see what's happening. Other side still got some shade on it. I might want to move over to that. good to go fishing in. They stock it I'm sure with trout during trout season.
Today I'm going to talk about the sovereignty of God. That's my message. Can you hear me now? A lot of times it takes a catastrophic event for people to start listening to God and it just shouldn't have to be like that. You know? Uh, he's done too much for us. But God's sovereignty means that he controls it all. He controls everything. You know, we can use our human minds and try to figure out what God is doing, but the reality is no one knows the mind of God. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And uh, you got to get used to just not knowing or having to answer to everything. But if God is who he is, I don't need the answers to everything. God has enough answers for me. So for things that I can't explain or don't understand, I leave it to him. He'll figure it all out. My job is to simply follow. And I have enough faith and confidence in him to do exactly that. So don't let tragedy bring you to God. Let your relationship bring you to God so that when tragedies come you're better able to deal with them anyway this is Reverend Big John I always remember keep the Lord first and keep the lines tight God bless I done pretty much fan cast this whole area with nothing. I can walk to the other side and get some of them shade pockets, but I mean, it's just a nice day out here, so they should still be. I know I might be a little bit late, but I should still be in business for this top water hit. up and move after this cast.